so those were some titles that I had previously made in After Effects and uh, my idea was just because it kind of took a, a little bit of time to put everything together in After Effects, I wanted to be able to uh, recreate something in Premiere uh, way faster. So I made a Mogurt. That word never gets <laughs> not funny to say. But yeah, I made a Mogurt for basically neon text. It's a free download and the link is in the description below. And in this video, I'm just gonna quickly run through um, kind of what each attribute does uh, in Premiere. So let's dive in. Okay, so in Premiere, once you have it all set up, it'll probably come up something like this. This is in Adobe font. Um, it's just easier to, to kind of throw out a, a Mogurt into the universe when it's in an Adobe font, because it'll link. Um, this is the font that I thought kind of looked cool. I also included a text file, uh, and if you open that, there's a quick little video on how to install um, all Mogurt files and then some free neon fonts. The ones that I'm using in this video are in there, and then one from Adobe, and then some other ones that I thought kind of looked cool. So let's start at the top for this effect. So color control, um, yeah, let's drag it, make it a, maybe a little purpley pink. Okay, uh, so you get the idea here. So the first wide glow here is the whole overall glow that kind of runs into the rest of the image. And then when you bring it back, it kind of gets focused. The second blur is just a fast blur on top to further kind of dial in the look. And then source text, obviously you know what that does. So the last slider is basically the overall power of the whole effect. One last tip to kind of really sell this effect in, in font. Once you have um, everything kind of set up the way you want it to, um, to really make it look like it's glowing or losing power and, and just to really sell the effect, go over to the effect controls on the layer and then set a keyframe wherever you kind of want it to start. So, and make sure it starts at, at 100 and then jump five frames in here. And you know, let's drop down to 60, jump another five frames, back up to 100, another five frames, back to 50, another five frames, 100, 80, and then back to 100. And I was jumping five frames every time. And then I'm gonna select them all and then easy ease them all. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, again, download in the description and thanks for watching.